Imagine a situation where you have a mid-air collision and it rains debris all over a Northern California community. Or what about a domestic terrorist attack where there is massive destruction, injuries, and deaths? Well, how do you prepare for that? Well, that's where Sentinel Response comes into play. This is a learning environment. And let's not walk away here without understanding how we integrate uh, with our partner agencies. This is only a drill, an exercise simulating a terrorist bombing in the city of Concord. Scenario, an improvised nuclear device has caused widespread destruction and casualties and irradiated everything in its wake. That's all local, state, and federal participants knew when they arrived on scene here at the Naval Weapons Station Concord. The notional blast wave hurled cars severely damaged buildings, injured and trapped people, and caused chemical tankers to leak. Now, after a year-long hiatus from in-person exercises due to the COVID-19 pandemic, first responders are back at it. Tabletop is one thing, getting your knuckles dirty is another. For us first responders, uh, we only have one time to get it right when we come to your house, regardless of what the problem is. Yeah, zip them up. Okay, on air. First responders are facing simulated challenges that may not happen often, but when they do, they'll be more prepared. Us coming together like this helps ensure as much as possible that we will get it right. Keep moving. Meaning lives are saved, the environment is protected, and property is preserved, and Cal OES is leading the way. Our job is not to come in and take over any individual situation and say, hey, this is the way we want it done. Our job is to be there to facilitate and to assist. Here, multi-jurisdictional firefighters use their tools and skill to access a victim. Time and tack are critical. Across the street, another group plans their strategy. A rail tanker full of chlorine has derailed and leaking its contents into the environment. Every action under the watchful eyes of a clipboard-wielding evaluator. Simultaneously, an urban search and rescue team scouts a building and comes across a room that shows signs of radiation. Okay, so what's the reading at? Stop, stop right here, dude. Let me go see by you guys. 272. Sure enough, this was where terrorists made the bomb. Lab equipment still percolating, and real radiation is detected, albeit at harmless levels. Meanwhile, a MASH unit is established and ready to treat victims at the scene. In a real case scenario, basically each team is in there about seven minutes before switching. Across the compound, another USAR team works to rescue the trap from a simulated collapsed building. All the while, chiefs report back to incident command. Uh, my SE personnel were retrieving a vehicle, and I have not heard back from them yet. Copy that. In the end, their performance evaluation will be shared and discussed. It's not a competition, but a way to prepare, improve, and interact with strangers, much like they will in the real world.